Before I begin going over the answers to this warm-up, I just want to review on the side here all of our exponent rules or laws. Okay, we first started by adding okay, like terms or subtracting like terms. So for instance, 3x plus 2x would just be 5x. So we just add the coefficients out front as well as subtraction. So 7x squared minus x squared, 7 minus the 1 would be 6x squared. So when adding and subtracting, the exponents do not change. Okay? And then we move to multiplication. So if I do x cubed times x to the fourth, that would be x to the seventh. We add the exponents. And then power to power rule, if I had x cubed to the fourth, that would be x to the four times three, which is x to the twelfth. We had the zero exponent rule. Anything to the zero power is one. And then the negative exponent rule. So x to the negative three would be one over x to the third. So that's a review of all of our exponent rules days one through four. So looking at the first question, it says what is the product of x and x squared minus 3x minus 5? So I'm going to take this monomial, and product means I'm going to multiply that times this trinomial. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 3x is negative 3x squared. And x times negative 5 is negative 5x, which is answer choice A. So using the distributive property, we can multiply a monomial times any polynomial. So now in number two, once again, we're going to take a monomial and multiply it by a trinomial. So 2x squared times x squared would be 2x to the fourth. 2x times x is 2x cubed. And 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x squared which is answer choice A again. In number three, we have uh, multiplication and addition. Just like order of operations, we want to remove this parenthesis first by distributing. So I'm going to rewrite the 3x above. And then a positive 4 times 2x is a positive 8x. And positive 4 times positive 1 is a positive Four. Combining our like terms, we hadn't had any like terms in questions one and two within our answer. Okay, not only do they have to have the same base, but they have to have the same exponent. So this was an x cubed term, an x squared, and an x term, which are not like. An x to the fourth, an x cubed, and x squared are not like. But here, once we multiply, we can now then combine our like terms. We don't ever want to write an expression that has terms to be combined. So 3x and 8x is 11x, and the 4 stays. Number 4, to finish, we're going to do the same thing as we have subtraction and multiplication. So I'm going to rewrite the negative 6x and distribute that negative through. Negative 7 times 4 is a negative 28. Negative 7 times 3x is a negative 21x. So here we can combine our like terms, which are the x terms. And in standard form, they would be written first. So negative 6 minus 21 is a negative 27x, and then minus 28. So the answer is A again. Now I'd like you to flip over this warm-up, and I'm going to do some review of days 1 through 4. Okay. Okay, so starting with this first one, I'm going to give you a few minutes to complete each of those three columns, and then I'm going to go over the answers. So take a minute to part A, simplify each expression if possible by combining like terms, write it in standard form, state the degree, and state the name by degree. So once again, I'm going to give you a few minutes to look at that and complete those examples, and then I'll go over them.
Okay, number one. In standard form, it would be highest to lowest exponent. So I'm going to look at those degree two terms. I can combine those since they're both like terms. Negative 4y squared minus 7y squared. Negative 4 minus 7 is negative 11. Again, when adding and subtracting, the exponent stays the same. Then would come the y term. And there's nothing to combine with that. And the positive 2. And the one below it, the cube term would come first. So negative 5x cubed. The x squared term. And then we can combine the y's. 6y minus y would be 5y. And then last, combining the two x terms, negative 8 minus 10 is negative 18x plus 9. Now the degree is the highest exponent. So since it's standard form, I just need to look at the term up front. This would be a degree 2, degree 3, and when no, no exponent's written, it's degree 1. The name by degree, this is going to be a quadratic, Degree 3 is a cubic. Degree 1, linear. Degree 4 was quartic. Okay? By number of terms, a two-term polynomial would be a binomial, three terms trinomial, and one term monomial. But by degree, these are the correct answers. Number two, simplify each expression and write the answer in standard form. So go ahead and take a minute to add those two binomials. The answer, combining like terms, a positive 4mn plus a negative 1mn would be 3mn. Combining your two constants or numbers, a positive 8 added to a negative 1 is a positive 7. Go ahead and subtract those two trinomials. Okay, as I subtract this trinomial from the one up front, I'm going to stack like terms. So I'm going to subtract 3x squared from the negative x squared term. I'm going to subtract 7x from the 4x. And when I subtract a negative 6, that changes to a positive 6. Now combining straight down, in this column, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. The x squared stays the same. In this column, negative 4x minus 7x is negative 11x. And the last column, negative 8 plus 6 is a negative 2. Next one. If a equals xy plus 3 and b is equal to 7xy minus 1, find the value of a plus b. So if we add a, which is xy plus 3, to b, which is 7xy minus 1, combining like terms, xy and 7xy is 8xy, and positive 3 minus 1 is a positive 2. Simplify, write the answer in standard form. So anything to the zero power is 1, and 1 plus 1 would be 2. Negative 2x squared y times negative 5xy cubed. In 
multiplying negative 2 times negative 5 is 10. x squared times x would be x cubed. And then y times y cubed would be y to the fourth. When you multiply, you keep the base and add the exponent. So number 7 here, we're going to take xy squared and square that and then add it to 2x squared y to the fourth if possible. So xy squared squared. Power to power means we're going to multiply the exponents. So x to the 1 times 2 would be 2 y squared, y to the 2 times 2, 2 times 2 would be 4. You can also think of this as xy squared, so expand and write it out 2 times, and then add the exponents. Writing the rest of the problem, or copying it down, these are like terms. x squared y to the 4th can be added to an x squared y to the 4th. 2 plus the 1 out front would be 3x squared y to the 4th. Next one is 2 raised to the negative second power. I'm going to go ahead and do this on the calculator. If you get a decimal, remember you can do math, enter, enter to change it to a fraction. Using the negative exponent rule, that would be 1 over 2 squared. So that would be 1 over 4. So if you did it on the calculator, you got a decimal of 0.25 which we write our answer not as decimal but as a fraction, is one-fourth. Negative exponent rule included within a fraction. What do you get when you simplify this expression? So if it's in the numerator and it's negative, the term moves to the denominator and becomes a positive exponent. So the answer would be b squared over any two terms written next to each other without a symbol in between means multiplication. And a to the first times a to the third would be a to the fourth. Last one. So the x to the third moves up top, becomes positive, and the y to the negative 2 moves to the denominator and becomes positive. So in the numerator, x cubed times x would be x to the fourth, and then y squared times y is going to be y cubed.